This is an instructional video for parents and carers on how we'll be using Google Classroom to manage distance learning for whilst schools are closed. Your child should follow a normal school day routine whilst they're at home Monday to Friday. Each morning they should log into classroom.google.com. Your child has already been provided with a login. That login takes the following format. At the start of the login is the year which they started. For example, a year seven started in September of last year, so that would be 19. Then comes their first initial and their surname. Your child should already know their password. However, if they don't, it may still be set to the default setting of password one. If you have any login difficulties, please do contact us. I'm gonna now show you what Google Classroom looks like and how your child can submit and evidence the work that they are completing at home. When we go over to Google Classroom, you'll get a screen much like this one here. The classes will be unique to your child and the sets in which they are in. I'm clicking on this example class. We're in the stream mode at the moment. Stream tells us a history of all of the things that have been going on in that class. So any tasks set, any reminders from the teachers. But the main point is go over to this classwork tab in the middle. Here we can see the teachers set a worksheet on factorizing expressions. I can get it up by clicking on it. I can get out of it by clicking escape. I want to complete that work and submit it to my teacher. So I'm going to click on the view assignment button first, and then I'm going to add or create, and I can submit my work in a variety of different formats. If you wanted to take a picture of the work because it's not possible to do it one of the other methods, you could upload a file of that picture. The easiest way for our students to submit work is through docs. If you click create new docs, it creates a Google doc with their name on it that the teacher can see and it shows all the work they've completed. It's creating that now in this little box over here and it'll take a few moments to create the document with the right naming. Then if I click on that document, I will get Google docs open up and I can start writing my answers. Here we are. So I'll write the answers to the work or whatever task's been set on the Google Doc. Then, because this is a live document, I can simply click out of it if I want to. And any work that I've done on that will be saved. And then when I'm ready to submit the work to my teacher, I'm gonna click the hand in button. And it will hand in that attachment that I've made. So this work's now complete and has been submitted to my teacher. Please do encourage independence. Please do, if you cannot evidence any work that's been completed, potentially help as a parent by getting your child to keep a folder of any work they've completed during this time. Thanks for your time.